Hello everyone, hey, Dr. Zahar here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 8.30 part C of chapter 8 continuous system from book mechanical vibration 6 edition by SS Top. So this problem is about finding natural frequency and more shape of contraver beam for three modes. So description of the problem is compute first three natural frequencies and the corresponding mod shape of the transverse vibration of a uniform beam of rectangular cross section having breadth equal 100 millimeter depth as 300 millimeter length as 2 meter modulus of elasticity 20.5 in strength to raise per 10 newton per meter and the density is 7830 kilogram per meter for the beam when one end is fixed and other end is free. So here is it, uh, section 8.5, lateral vibration of beam, problem 8.30, and then part C of chapter 8 of continuous system of the book here, mechanical vibration 6 edition. So the objective is to find first three natural frequencies and to plot first three mod shapes. So, how is that possible? So, the natural frequency for a beam, the formula is omega is equal to beta L squared EI rho A and L A is area of cross section, I is the second moment of area, and this BL. So, BL is the root of frequency equation, which is for cantilever beam when one end is fixed, other is free. So, it is cos beta l into cos hyperbolic beta l is equal to 1 so that is from figure 8.15 of the book so here is the figure 8.5 common boundary condition for the transverse vibration of a beam so when one end is free uh, so fixed free end is a cantilever beam so equation is cos beta l into cos hyperbolic beta l is equal to 1 so need to find the values of beta l from here and because these are trigonometric functions it, uh, it have uh, like multiple solutions so we need to only consider first three roots of this equation uh, to find three uh, first three natural frequencies and three more shapes and then here is the more shape or normal function so more normal function here is omega n which is a function of x so that is c n and that expression and alpha n is sine beta l plus sine hyperbolic beta l divided by cos beta l plus cos hyperbolic beta l that is a figure 8.15 again from this figure 8.15 of the book so here it is that is a more shape or normal function so this problem uh, is being solved using matlab and the function used in matlab are VPA solve function, then double and then plot function. So VPA solve function it solves this frequency equation to get its three roots, and then the plot function will be used to plot three more shapes. Solution of frequency equation is required uh, for both natural frequency and more shapes. So first, I am going to show how to solve frequency equation. So I have already uh, recorded two videos on it, which is example 8.17 of the same chapter and 8.18. So 8.17 is a solution of frequency equation for single root and then example 8.18 solution of frequency equation for five roots in MATLAB. So how to solve frequency equation, you can watch these uh, two videos. So I'm just going to use script here. So I'm going to use MATLAB 2023A with the standard default layout and I am using live script. So I'm going to start new live script that is a new live script. So I'm going to save it. If I save it a problem underscore 8 underscore 30 C MLX. So there are two options here. You can get output on right or uh, in line. So I'm going to use that in line. So the title of script is problem 8.30 natural frequency and more shapes of cantilever beam. 
so that is the title so the first part is solve frequency equation so now that is the first heading of solve frequency equation so to solve that frequency equation so that's frequency equation so this frequency equation contain a variable which is dl so uh, first i'm going to use uh, i'm going to start a uh, symbolic system with the variable dl and then the equation is cos dl into cos hyperbolic dl is equal to minus 1 so that is the equation you need to write and so then i'm going to use that vpa solve function equation then the variable and then here is the, uh, the third input argument is initial parameter so that is a range in which that solution need to touch because uh, this equation uh, the first one is so this equation might have uh, multiple solutions so uh, we need to start with the one so to get all of its possible solution so then uh, so i'm going to use a script here so i and j so i'm going to start from 1 to 10 and j will be i plus 1 so uh, to fill the values i have here bli is an empty matrix i have run and then that will be uh, because this will be a solve so that is uh, give us metric uh, sorry uh, symbolic uh, parameter so that double function is being used to convert symbolic values to double precision values and then that bl so that will fill all that and then i'm going to output that bli so i'm going to run that script so between 1 to 10 i got four values of beta l which is 1.8751 4.69 and these values are very much similar to the values which are here for six so that is the values of beta l so i need just uh, three values so i am going to rerun it for uh, i from so now after running it i got that three values so the first uh, uh, that frequency equation is solved for the first three roots so that first step to find natural frequency and mod cases so now uh, the first objective is to find first three natural frequencies so i am going to use this formula for natural frequency to uh, because i have already values of beta l but i need uh, i need that beam properties and then i need to calculate a and i for beam so in the script again i am going to uh, start another heading of beam properties so beam properties and then i'll put an enter here so that is the next heading of beam properties so i'm going to add all beam dimensions here so all beam properties length of beam width of beam depth modulus of elasticity rho uh, so from the statement so they are being added here and now the area is area and i so they are being calculated so that is the beam property so now next i'm going to add the next heading for natural frequency so the natural frequency and that is the new heading and now i'm going to add formula of natural frequency so the formula for natural frequency is radian per second that is the pli square square root ei over rho a l4 and that is in radian per second so i'm going to divide it 2 pi and then that mega n is output so i'm going to run it so these are the three values of natural frequencies i'm going to maximize it so these are three values of natural frequency so that is 389.5 then the next one is uh, 2400 one, uh, 2000, 2441 and then 63 so I have solution manual 8.30 and then part C the first one is 389 then 2441 and 6834 and these values are here so uh, these values what I am getting these are the more accurate values because uh, 
uh, here we are using exact values of pl first second and third value so that is a natural sequences for the first three modes are done and the first objective is now achieved now the second objective is to plot the first three more shades and for that one uh, i already have that beta l values so from uh, beta l need to compute beta by dividing beta l value by the length and then that is a uh, equation which i have to use so for this equation i have i am going to write a function and then i'll i'll use that function so here uh, the next heading here is the next heading is more shapes so and then that is the next heading so first i need to write a function here so function to compute uh, more shapes so remember if you are going to use a function in a script so you need to write that function at the end so function output is w like as uh, from here the output is w and the inputs are x l and beta so these are the three inputs to that function so here uh, i give it beta l and length so uh, beta is equal to beta l over l so b b is being computed and then now first i need to find that alpha so alpha is sine uh, beta l my plus sine hyperbolic beta l cos beta l plus cos hyperbolic beta l so that is the alpha and i write that simply uh, in a simplified form like c is cos uh, x is sine of beta l and then ch is cos hyperbolic and sine hyperbolic so i got that alpha and then here uh, x is x is basically it is from 0 to l with the step size and the step size is defined as gx which is the input to the function so then again here c is cos of b into x s is sine b into x cos hyperbolic is cos hyperbolic b into x and then sine hyperbolic and then in that equation w is c uh, n is 1 so that is cn so w is cn times by sine minus sine hyperbolic minus alpha n uh, cos minus cos hyperbolic so that is cn so that one is wx now is written so that one this is the function so if uh, beta l is given to it dx is given and length is given to it so it will compute that w so the first one i am going to plot the base state so that is the base state that it means that uh, base state and for the base state i need to plot that y versus x uh, sorry uh, wx versus x where w will be all values will be zero so uh, here i defined uh, delta x step size as 0 0.01 so x is from 0 to l with the step size of 0 0.01 and then w0 w0 is a set of 0 of the length of x and then i'm going to plot that x versus w0 so it is uh, like as normal function uh, and k black color with the dashed line so i'm going to hold it on so i can run it and then see that what are the results so here you can see that is in the base state it is being plotted i need x and y label to it so that is a graph that normal length from horizontal axis and all from function and it is just a straight line which is in the base state of the beam so now i am going to uh, add here first mode so i am going to clear this output and then the first mode i am going to add here so then it is first mode and for the first mode i have already this function so just to execute this function for first value of bl so bl 
its first value is 1.8751 so i'm going to use it as here the bl and then that is the first mode and i'm just going to copy and paste to get the uh, other values of normal function w2 w3 so now that is uh, second mode and here i am using the second value which is 4.6941 to get that as second normal function and then the third one is 7.85874 to get the third value of normal function so uh, that first mode is uh, the line is blue the for the second mode is red and the third mode is green and i need to add legends to the figure like uh, for all these three graphs so the legend the first one i'm going to label it as base weight then the first mode second mode and third mode so i can execute it so it will take like that is the these are the results so that is the base weight then the blue one is the first mode red is the second mode and then the green is the third mode so i can open that figure in the meantime i can uh, minimize it so that figure is being opened and then here in the view uh, plot browser i can plot like that is the base state and that is the first mode of the beam and then that is the second mode and then that is the third mode so these are the three modes of cantilever beam so it is the second objective of this uh, tutorial so that is all about solution of this problem 8.30 and actually you can turn more shapes of cantilever beam so i hope uh, you find this video helpful so you can leave comments or feedback thank you very much for watching